Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Daniel. I'm Matt. I'm Tracy. I'm Gavin. Okay. I'm Lauren. I'm Joel. I'm Aunt Becky. I'm Grandpa. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. Hey, and we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of things on the farm, but one thing we can't do is grow this channel without your help. Welcome back everyone, it's so nice to see you. We're getting our morning started off with a little bit of a ride. Unfortunately on the news we heard that we we're gonna be covered in a big cloud of smoke again and it looks like it's here this morning. So before I got my chores done this morning I got up a little earlier and I went for a little ride. Now last time we were dealing with smoke it lasted for a lot longer than they thought it was gonna last. They are expecting it to be gone by the end of today into tomorrow. So we'll just have to see how it looks later on. For example, over that way, I can just barely see the outline of the mountain. And I thought it was fog when I woke up, but then I checked my phone and it said unhealthy for sensitive groups. So, you know, it's not good. Although I'd love to drive around a little bit more and look at what we've got going on here. I gotta get back to the farm market and get to work. Smells like a campfire out here. We got campfire tomatoes. And I didn't walk around too much, but I better visit the foot bath. Looks like Matthew beat me down here. He has got started on vacuuming and I'm gonna get started on cleaning off these shelves and then pulling everything out. The girls are finishing up on some cleaning and filling up in here, but we do have the farm market all set up. A lot of the people in the local area have got the word that we have fresh vegetables. So we've been selling out of stuff relatively quickly. We do need lettuce right away this morning. So I'm heading out to the garden to cut some. And Matthew's not coming with me this morning to get lettuce. Where are you going? I have to go get uh, nitrogen for us to put on our silage corn. They had told us we were not gonna be able to get nitrogen. And uh, guess what? We are. Please Please, please, yeah. because our, well, our silage corn is getting yeah. too tall, and if it gets any taller, we're not gonna be able to spread nitrogen without hurting it. And they said, okay, we have enough just for the nitrogen. Yeah. From what I understand, they have a shipment of stuff coming in. It's just held up somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. And they're being nice to us and doing us a favor. We are now out here in the garden. We have three different types of lettuce that we're gonna be harvesting today. We have a red butter head right here that looks beautiful we have some red leaf lettuce that is starting to get nice size to it i am concerned that it is going to start going to seed so we do need to get this stuff harvested not only do we have red butter red leaf but we also have some beautiful green leaf lettuce up here also and something very cool one of our viewers sent us some knives to use so whomever sent the knives for us to use we appreciate it I don't think I brought enough carriers today. But look at this. Let's see if we can get this whole thing cut down here. It's like a small tree. Look at that thing. Wow. It's not every day that you get to harvest lettuce trees, right? I mean, this isn't a stem, that's a trunk. Gorgeous. I might just set that in the side by side. I can't even fit that in the basket. Sometimes you will have leaves on the bottom of the lettuce. That doesn't look too nice from sitting on the ground. Just gotta peel them off and then you're good to go. Now this green leaf is a little smaller than the red leaf, but look at it next to my head. It's like, <laughs> oh, hey, Matthew, what you doing? No, I'm just kidding, his head ain't that big. That's some fresh lettuce. Now when it comes to this lettuce, we are not washing it for ready to eat. Uh, if you get this lettuce, you should wash it at home. My suggestion, uh, you should wash anything 
you ever purchase. Uh, however, uh, I'm putting this in the bin right now to just give it a good soak. There's two reasons why I'm doing this. Number one thing, we're trying to make them look a lot nicer. The second thing that we're trying to do here is crisp up the lettuce. It stores a little easier if we give it a good rinse of water. And then once we're done with it, we'll move it right into the cooler and then it can crisp up. Uh, and that, that stuff just flies off the shelves then. Be very gentle. Be very gentle. color. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hello, good morning. Andrew, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Alrighty. Good, good. Welcome back. Thank you. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. This is all green leaf lettuce that went to seed. We're not keeping it. But I have another plan for it. While I was finishing up harvesting lettuce, the boys got started on taking care of the animals. All the cattle and calves have now been fed and they're working on the chickens. We're now all finished with taking care of the animals. We're just waiting for one more person to come out and then we're gonna head back and get harvesting. Andrew, how comes the side-by-sides leading to the left? Probably because you and I are sitting on the left side and there's no lefty in here to keep it evened out. I was worried. Dad and I are now out here in the field. We are going to get started with harvesting some veggies. And the first thing on the list is kohlrabi. What kind of kohlrabi are you raising now? It doesn't want to come out of the ground. Kohlrabi or kohlrabi, however you want to say it. Is something that got a little more popular in this area not too long ago for us. We weren't raising it for the most part. Then we decided to start raising it and well, customers love it. It's got a really nice flavor. If you've never had kohlrabi, kohlrabi, uh, get some, try it out. Cause it is good. Come on, come on the ground. Okay. The best way I can describe it to you is it's kind of like a broccoli stem, the flesh of this stuff. And it's got, I'd say like a little zing, a little spice to it. It's not like a spice. It's just, it's interesting. Try it out. It's yummy. Well, that's good. We're all done with pulling the kohlrabi out of the ground and they're finishing off the harvest by pulling the leaves off. While we were doing that, Daniel was walking through the cauliflower. He was able to find some smaller heads. I don't think they're gonna get any bigger than this, but they look pretty good. What's he got here? One, two, three, four. Not only did he cut a few heads of cauliflower, but he's going through and rubber banding the tops on the ones that are starting to open up. Uh, if we don't rubber band the tops, the cauliflower turns yellow from the sun. So Daniel is all the way out there. He's walking through the cauliflower. These boys are finishing off the kohlrabi and I'm gonna get started on cutting broccoli. I'm gonna have a big old pile of broccoli here for you, Joel. I'm working on it. Just letting you know. All right, thank you. There is some nice stuff here. It's nice when almost everything is ripe. Makes it a lot easier to harvest. Just pick it all. a few different varieties of broccoli. Um, we believe the one we're harvesting right now is called Emerald Crown. The heads don't get too large, 
but it is an early broccoli, so that's okay. I mean, the heads don't get too large, but even so, some of these heads are pretty gorgeous. Dad said he wanted four baskets. We'll easily be able to get that. Peppers are in now. Uh, Joel, I need a basket. How's two? No, no, just one. If you bring two, we're gonna fill two. All right, I'm bringing two. Oh my goodness, Joel's making us pick more. I'll stay in these broccoli fields as long as we're not in a pea field. You better not be peeing in the field. Daniel was telling us something exciting. What's exciting, Daniel? There's cabbage over here to cut. Well, this one's soft. Make sure they're Is firm it? like me. I don't want a soft one like Andrew. <laughs> now with early cabbage, we have to check and make sure that the cabbage is ready to harvest. The way we do that is we take our hand and we put it on top of the cabbage. And if the cabbage is firm, then it's ready to harvest. So what we do, we push down on the sides, make sure our fingers are away from the stem, and we slice along the bottom. And that's how we harvest our cabbage. Got two. Down here, Andrew. I found one. Well, let's see what we were able to harvest here. We got one, two, three baskets of kohlrabi. We got five baskets of broccoli and three baskets of cabbage. Broccoli looked really, really nice. Kohlrabi looked really, really nice. I actually think we're soon gonna be picking off the entire kohlrabi harvest. And the cabbage, even though it is young and probably could use one more week, we were able to find some heads that were ready to go. Make sure the cabbage children are safe, Joel. You wanna know something that's crazy? Uh, I thought the smoke was gonna be going away throughout the day, but it looks like it's getting worse over there. That mountain is slowly disappearing. And over that way, it looks really, really bad. Now, we had talked before the last time we dealt with the smoke about some of the effects that we could be facing. Fortunately, a lot of this stuff has passed the early growing phase, but still not having sunlight today on what normally would be a clear day, that does harm us in the long run. When people think about growing vegetables and growing crops, they think about it just being warm, but just being warm isn't good enough. We need those daylight hours. We affectionately call them growing hours. When the sun is shining down on these plants, it does a lot of good for them. And these smoke particles being in the air, one, dampens the sunlight. And then two, it could affect the plants even more by getting stuck in the stoma of the plant, basically not allowing the plant to breathe. So there are plenty of things that this smoke could do to harm us. There's also some benefits that could come from it. A lot of this is from organic material that is burning as it's floating through the atmosphere. If we do get some rain, it will pull down some of those minerals that are in the smoke particulates and it could benefit some of these crops. However, at the moment, if we don't get any rain, it's not gonna be any good to us and it's only gonna harm us for today. They are advising that you be very careful and kinda limit strenuous activity. On the farm, sadly, there's always work that needs to be done. And if we don't get this done today, well, it might be too late tomorrow. We have discussed it a little bit. Maybe we should just take it easy, not worry too much. But for example, with the broccoli, uh, one day broccoli can go from being at peak harvest or peak ripeness to going to seed. It's something that happens really quickly. And with peas, it takes peas three days for them to become overripe. Now, some of you may never have experienced that, but we have experienced our peas and our broccoli getting overripe and unable to harvest. And it is something we do not want to deal with. We work very hard to get all this stuff ready for harvest. We put a lot of money into it and a lot of time, which time is valuable to a farmer. But with that all in mind, we are having a good harvest so far today. We're gonna take all this back to the farm, get it unloaded, and we'll be right back out here. Stir them up, you know. We just got everything moved into the cooler. We got our five baskets of broccoli, 
three baskets of kohlrabi and the cabbage well we didn't have any cabbage so we put it out right away and i think someone already bought a head they were like "Ooh, fresh cabbage i mean it doesn't get any better than that look at that wheat The next thing on the list for harvesting today is gonna be peas. And I don't have Callie with me today, so I don't have to worry about opening all the shells for her. The peas here are still a little bit on the young side. We are able to find some pods that have been filled out pretty nicely, but we're having to pick pretty carefully. We will come back through and harvest Probably at the start of next week. I think by that time the peas will be pretty much all grown together. The only issue is there was some larger stuff in here. And if we would have let it go, well, it would have been overripe by the time we come back through again. So we're going to have to harvest an extra time for these peas, but that's okay. If we can get more harvest in, that will be a good thing for all of us. This is where we're gonna be stopping for now. We got one, two, three, four, five baskets of peas, and now our morning is over. Not bad for 20 minutes. You know, this is my first time harvesting smoked peas before, but it's pretty crazy. Let's see how they taste. Smoked peas taste pretty good. It doesn't look like it's getting any worse, but it also doesn't look like it's getting any better. I mean, if the wind blows this way a little harder, We'll be hit by that stuff over there. That looks bad. It all looks bad. But again, it could be worse. At least I'm not dealing with the fires. I feel bad for the people that are. I'll deal with smoke way longer than I'll deal with fires. We're not golfing. Oh, all right. We're not golfing today. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. It looks like we are having sandwiches for lunch. We got all different types of meats. Got some veggies and Grammy cut up a pineapple. What a deal. Well, everyone, we are well into the afternoon. and We've had a lot going on. Just many jobs here and there. We've been kind of running around all over the place. I wanted to bring you over and show you the cherry trees really quickly. Uh, there's no cherries on them. Yeah, we picked a few of the trees. I think off of one or two trees, I'm not 100% sure, but we got three five gallon buckets. So that's a lot of cherries. Now what's been going on for the afternoon? Well, quite a bit. One big thing was getting some fertilizer spread. When I say fertilizer, I mean nitrogen. We had to put nitrogen down for the corn that we're gonna be using for silage. I also have been pretty local to the farm market today. I've just been around here in case any jobs needed to be done. I could come and take care of them. And it is at the time where we're getting ready to close up, so I'm heading inside. We are closing up for the day. We're getting the last of the customers moved out of the door. We just got everything pulled off the shelves and onto our pallets. So once we get everything moved into the cooler, we can get everything closed down. I don't know. We're trying to decide whether or not we're locking the door because we have people that are coming down to make cookies. You know, making cookies is a big job after our job farm markets now closed up it is still smoky out here and it's really really smoky like it's bad it didn't get any better today hopefully by tomorrow though it'll all be gone they had said originally that we were like in a smoke warning or health warning till five but it's after five and it still looks the same i don't know i'm not a scientist i'm just a farmer Hello, hello, honey. What are we having for dinner tonight? Italian sausage orzo pasta with um, broccoli and rolls. Kylie, hey! So how was your day today? Yeah. What did you do today? Bubbles. You want bubbles? No, we can't go outside. It's too smoky. Well, everyone, we are now getting all ready to eat dinner. Everybody has sat down at the table. There's what Lauren made. Doesn't that look good? Ooh, yeah, it looks good. We do have some extra people with us here tonight. Lauren's dad, right there, Lauren's dad, and her mom are with us. How exciting is that? And since everybody's at the dinner table, that means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I would like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye Bye-bye.